to save the camera. Can you see? I know you can tell. This camera keeps falling down. Oh my god. We're going to do this really quick because people get walking fast and we're a bit embarrassed. But we could not find anywhere to record from. So we've ended up doing it on this side of the park in front of the bloody road, which has got a train going through it and trucks. Big truck. As soon as I switch it on, bloody big truck goes past us. Never mind. Anyway, we are seagulls on the run. We are sat in a beautiful park in a town called. I'm not saying yet, I'm not saying yet, and there's a reason why I'm not saying. That's coming up in a later one. Anyway, yes, we are seagulls on the run. We have come from somewhere, we're going to tell you where that is. We're currently here and we'll tell you where that is and we're going to go somewhere else and we'll tell you where that is. So we're really, we're actually not telling we're you We're actually not telling you anything at all. So there you go. So I'm Johnny, <laughs> just in case people didn't know that. And if you've seen some of the other videos, you will know that because I say it quite often, but you don't often hear much about... Justine. Justine, who's the other half, the pretty half. The better half. <laughs> So anyway, we're going to do this quick because we're in a park and there's like people walking past us and we're a bit embarrassed. But so where have we come from? It all starts back in about 2003 when we were living in the UK. We had good jobs. Yeah. Good nice house. life. Yeah, really good life. Good jobs, great house, great location in the UK, just north of Manchester. Family, friends. Yeah. Quite comfortable. I'd say it was very comfortable. Yeah, it was nice. It was. So why, so did, why we did we leave? leave? <laughs> why did we leave? Well, for this very reason. We kind of one day decided what is it that we're going to do in the next sort of five years? And we figured probably very much the same as what we're doing now. So we've got ourselves into a bit of a comfortable routine. So we figured we would just quit it up a bit. Yeah, so we quit. We got rid of everything. We'd left the whole lot. House sold it most of the furniture sold quick jo good jobs we'd never been here for a never holiday visited. no never friends visited. here no family here no jobs and we just picked our two boys up and left came out with no other plan other than a month in the city and yeah that's how it started so that city would be melbourne so we we flew to melbourne and we spent one month in the city in a furnished apartment anyway and that's then we that. eventually settled on the Mornington Peninsula. Yeah. So and if you fast forward 19 years, we are now in good jobs. Yeah, we're a good house. Nice location. Good Lots friends. Of good friends. We have our two boys around <laughs> us. And we're hey, does this say deja vu? <laughs> a pretty comfortable routine. Very comfortable routine. So why? Just in a different country. What are we doing? So we thought we might mess it up. A We're going to mess it up. We have turned it upside down. So we have the pair of us resigned from our roles. Gone. We have not sold the house this time. It's going to be looked after by our boys because they're not on this trip. <laughs> Two. And uh, yes, but we've been planning this for a long time. So let's just give you a bit of history about the planning of a trip. So go for it. So you've got that history. You know okay. it. We've been talking about travelling Australia for a while and we've spent a lot of time and a lot of money on preparing for it. We yep. bought ourselves a caravan and we had a new tow vehicle. Yep. And oh, when was it? 2019? 19, yeah. I can't remember. 2019, I think. We set off on a trip and we brought down on zero, day zero. So our car finished up for the next two months in Ballarat, trying to be fixed under warranty, which we're still fighting, to be honest. And that's three years later, by the way. <laughs> that was three years ago. Um, and they lent us a long car, so we carried on on the trip. And on our way back, our car got involved in an accident. It was not our fault. And was totaled and was a write-off. So well, was, no, not car, caravan. You caravan. Said, Did I say car? I think you said car. Our caravan got hit by a pea plater and totaled the caravan. You wouldn't have thought it could do it, but it was just the most amazing accident you would ever... This car did a U-turn, and it U-turned in between our car and the caravan. So it saw the car, did a U-turn, flipped the caravan over into a tree. I'm going to put some photographs up there. Oh, it was a mess. And she'd yeah. only had a license for 12 hours. 12 Four hours. Months. She was yeah. distraught. Anyway. So that totaled it. We'd left home with a new car and caravan, caravan and came, came back with nothing. Nothing. 
<laughs> so fast forward a little bit and we eventually got a replacement caravan which was great we didn't have to wait the two years that everybody else waited no so we were we, lucky there we got it in about eight months and we've been doing that up and in december i think we decided that we were going to change our tour vehicle so our Pajero, which was lots of videos on that car, video, so there's lots of videos of that car on our YouTube channel because it was our favourite car yeah. and it was ready to rock and roll. That was a car to tour, to tour Australia with. But ever since that incident where it broke down... Never felt really comfortable after that. We were always on edge. And so we decided to just take the plunge and get a new tour vehicle. Mm-hmm. So, so we did, and we spent the last couple of months fitting that out. It's not quite done, but it's almost done. Yep. So we're ready to rock and roll. So, so what's next? Yeah, so you know where we've come from. You know what we've been doing. Our next bit is coming up soon. But let me just tell you, we're sat in this amazing park right now, and yeah. this has something to do with what we're about to do. So we'll and let you in on that. I think that's it. Are we Soon. ready to go? I think we're, we're ready. ready to rock and roll. We're doing it. We've done it. Jobs have been quit. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. We're doing it. Jobs are gone. House is being looked after by our boys. We've already hit the road. We're here today. We landed yesterday. We didn't land, but we didn't, we're not flying. But we're here. Kind of drove in. Yeah, we drove in. Okay, cool. There you go. Stay tuned. Like and subscribe. Find out what our next plan is <laughs> because we're going to do a vlog on this because there'll be, I reckon, There'll be a lot of people out there who have thought about doing what we're going to do. So when I say we've quit our jobs, it's not quite quit them yet, but it's happening. It's getting there. It's getting there. <laughs> Just like this camera, can you see? I don't know you can tell. This camera keeps falling down. Oh my God. It keeps dropping down. Anyway, we'll tell you about the jobs next. Jobs bit, jobs bit is important, but there you go. All right, cool. We are working, and that might give you a clue as to what's going on.